Hi, my name is Michael Crawley and I'm going to be describing the operation of a DC generator circuit. In the diagram you can see the generator, the field coil or the field winding, and a generator control which is a variable resistor. So the purpose of a generator is to provide a DC voltage to the output of an aircraft generator is is a wire that's moving through what's being created here which is a magnetic field. Current is flowing and current is flowing positive negative so the current is flowing from the generator in this direction down through the variable resistor and then down through the coil back to the negative side of the generator. We are using conventional current flow. So as the current moves through the circuit from left to right it creates a magnetic field at the coil. That magnetic field uh, creates a voltage as the generator rotates through that due to a law called Faraday's law. So as the wire moves through the field we create a voltage. The key point here is the field winding is creating a magnetic field which the generator is, a voltage is being induced into a wire as it moves through that field. So, how do we control how big the output voltage is? Let's put some numbers in. Typically, a generator voltage is 28 volts. So if we assume that we have 28 volts between positive and negative on the generator, we have voltage we have voltage equals current times times resistance. Okay, so if we assume that we have some sort of uh, voltage that's been produced by the DC generator, that voltage is creating current that's moving through the variable resistor. Now, a coiled resistance is basically going to be zero because it's just a coil of wire. Uh, so let's assume that the variable resistor is set to a resistance of Twenty eight ohms. Using Ohm's law, we would say that the current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. Therefore, we would say twenty eight volts divided by twenty eight equals a current of around 1 amp. Okay, so the current that's moving from the generator through the variable resistor is giving us a current through the field coil, the field winding, that's, that's going to pr provide a magnetic field which gives us an internal voltage of 28 volts. If we move the variable resistor from left to right or from right to left, we are effectively changing the value of resistance, 28, increasing or decreasing, which in turn changes the current, which changes the magnetic field, changes the output voltage. So let's go through a quickly a scenario. If I move my kickoff from this point here to the right, so we're going to move to the right, and we need to determine is that an increase or a decrease in resistance. So the best way is to draw the current path with your finger. The current is still moving in the same direction through the circuit, getting to this point here. So at this point here, the pickoff is connecting 
uh, on the variable resistor at this point here, and then current will move through here. Instead of moving through this point in the resistor, all the way through here, so what we're effectively doing is we're changing the length of the resistance. Now, if we if we reduce the length, we could say that this distance here is equal to 28 ohms. Therefore, this distance, which is half half of the resistance, we're basically dividing that by two, means that our total resistance now, based on the new pickoff, R should equal around what do you think? Thinking caps, 14 ohms. Try. So, if we've changed our resistance to 14 ohms, we come back here. We say, ah, now this value has changed from twenty-eight to twenty-eight ohms to fourteen ohms. So my new value now is twenty-eight. Divided by 28 volts, divided by 28 ohms. So 28, how many times does 14 go into 28? Well, you guessed it, 14. 1. 14 goes into 28 two times. So 28 divided by 14 is 2 amps. Changes our value of current moving by moving this pick off to two amps. Based on this, the new current that's flowing through the coil, we have a change in current. Therefore, we have a change in our magnetic field. So we have a change in our output voltage. That's right, it goes up. Increase in current is a proportionate increase in our magnetic field which is a change in our output voltage. So the generator control is effectively changing our output voltage. By increasing or decreasing our resistance we change a value of voltage. In the next video we're going to talk about a carbon power voltage regulator that does this automatically. But at this stage we could summarize if we decrease resistance, we increase output voltage. If we increase resistance, so this would be an increase in resistance based on that length. If we increase length, we increase resistance. We decrease current, and we decrease output voltage. If we decrease resistance, we increase current. And that's right, increase the magnetic field and we increase our output.